What's going on there, everybody, and welcome back to some more trucking with iVision. Oh, we're here in Denver, beautiful, snowy Denver. Uh, see all the snow we've got on the ground here with our Freightliner Cascadia 2022 edition. Uh, but yeah, it's beautiful. We're going to be doing our holiday episode here. It's a good one. We've got our load already loaded up here. Look at this. Look at this truck. Look at the beauty she is. Oh, so beautiful. I'm excited. I'm excited. So we got a uh, load of gifts here that we are taking from Denver all the way to El Amosa. You can see our journey here. We're going to be taking 285 here. This is a stretch of road that we have not actually covered um, ever. So we're going to hop through here and check out this stretch of road and then make our way down to El Amosa there. 307 miles is our total trip time, but I think we'll be okay. I don't think we are going to have any major, major issues here. Uh, we just got to get the get cruising here. So you're kind of curious uh, if you want to know how to get this, um, whether I use a frosty mod, uh, which up until yesterday or two days ago um, wasn't uh, updated for 1.43, but it is updated now for 1.43. Uh, and so far it seems to be working. I haven't had any issues yet. So, doesn't mean it won't happen. It uh, just means that so far we're good. So, uh, we'll get over here. And then, uh, yeah. So, we'll see how it is. Kind of like the, the test run for you guys. To know if this will actually work or not. But I don't think we're going to have any issues. I'm super excited. Um, so, yeah. Technically, we have gifts from Walmart that we're taking to essentially Tesla. Uh, but obviously we know that that would not be the case but we just kind of roll with it and in a way we're, it should be like tesla is giving us gifts to take back to walmart in a way yeah so that's kind of what we're doing uh but yeah this will be good this is part of the community event that ses does um yeah around this time of the year uh it's one of my favorites though definitely one of my favorites so i just love this and the way this truck looks, trailer, it's so perfect. And honestly, the whoops, the paint for this truck is not not terrible at all for cost for that DLC. It's only a dollar ninety nine for ATS. If you're looking to get this, I'm gonna assume that it's the same for ATS two as well. So like not a ton that's gonna break the bank or anything around this time of year. Is you're spending all that extra money. Uh, but yeah, this is, I'm excited. I was excited for this, for this one. And I don't know how many trucks. I was kind of curious if the paint uh, would work for this truck, seeing as though it was updated. Um, but I think it's, I think we're good. I don't see any like major issues. Plus this was with the old Freightliner Cascadia. They never changed really anything that I think would affect the, uh, paint job DLC but you just never know how all that kind of plays out at times but man we're just trying to get on the interstate here take forever to get out of town but yeah frosty mouse is great just the way it kind of decorates everything there's some settings that he recommends uh, for doing for getting the best look out of it so definitely make sure you read that there's like some physics stuff in there too if you want to get a little bit extra out of it um, to kind of be more representation of the icy conditions on the roads and whatnot. Um, yeah, and when it rains, it technically snows, so that's kind of cool too. I don't know if we're gonna get any of that. It's looks like uh, it's clear skies, but all really cool and fun stuff. If you're looking for a little winter theme, I'm just waiting for the day that SES just puts it in natively. I just feel like I feel like it's got to be coming. Um, I don't know how, like me, I think you would just kind of have to do like a toggle, like when you first like load into your game, you know, you can set the seasons. I think that'd be the easiest way to kind of do it. Um, I don't know if they ever will. It'd be cool if they did because I think a lot of people like driving in the winter, maybe not so much in real life, but just to kind of mix it up and to have this kind of scenery and this kind of look is just it's really cool 
The only thing I would suggest or would maybe like to see is like the roads not be so snow covered, but it's not the end of the world here at all. Um, I think we actually gotta get over again. Yep. We don't want to get off it just yet, but we are gonna be getting over soon. Sooner than later. But yeah, I'm at. I love this truck. This truck is so nice and smooth, and I just love the new interior dash display. It just looks so good. Did a wonderful job on that. And uh, I know you can get, not for this truck, um, but you can get the, essentially, it's cameras for mirrors, uh, which is super cool. I don't think we're going that way. Are we going this way? I think so. Yes, we are. Oof. Couldn't tell. I was like a little nervous there. I was like, are we? Are we not? Oh. Oh. Oops. Didn't want that one. And that that map there a lot I felt the uh, the trailer just start to sway there a bit we lost a little bit of traction coming coming down there that I felt it that was so cool it made my hand slip and then I hit the, the map button that was oof, that was something oh we gotta get over we gotta get over one more don't mind us there's good old Denver. Beautiful. Out that way. Never actually been to Denver. I'd like to go. I'm not that far from Denver. I mean, a, a, a good drive, that's for sure. But not like... Like, I could get there in like... Half a day. Essentially. So it's not terrible. So I think that'd be really cool to kind of go there one day. Maybe get like a weekend or something, a little getaway, and go to Denver and check things out there. I think that would be kind of cool. So that might be something, something I do sometime here. So I think that'd be a a load of fun. So if you had any ideas or just suggestions of things to do in Denver, definitely pass on those along. So obviously just trucking through you know we can see some things and it looks so cool but yeah we'll see maybe I don't know maybe it's just like somewhere to just go for like a weekend you know nothing like too crazy or anything like that but oof I don't want to make this truck uh, do, do weird things here there we go all right, so here's the new stretch of road, 285. So this is all new. I don't know. Hey, man. It's like the Home Alone van. Such a great movie. Great movie. But here we are. 285. Not much going on around here. Going through the mountains. This will be kind of cool. We might get over actually because really no point if this is gonna be two lane all the way through four lanes essentially. Wouldn't it be wouldn't be too bad. I mean how do you classify this? Would you classify this as a four lane or a two lane? You know, like do you combine the other side or do you just do it as what your side is? I'm like really nervous going around these. Oh man, I've also done the other, like the Alaskan mod, which is so fun too. So that's a one to one ratio, which is insane. If you really want to know how far that stuff goes, like definitely try that. It's hours. It's insane. How many hours you'll be sitting there driving your load. But the physics in it are just so crazy because you're like, you'll just slide all over the place nuts so you definitely have to watch your speed there we're kind of watching our speed here too I and mean, we're doing like the speed limit it's kind of weird how that like disappeared on us there it's because we were like off the road I don't think so it's weird just like disappeared but yeah we're not doing too bad these turns though you kind of got to be 
Gotta be, gotta be a little bit mindful about them. Just in case. Just in case here. Look at that. The back of that trailer there with those lights. That is so cool. That is super, super cool. I like that. Holy cow. I didn't even realize that was a thing before. That is so this trailer at night would be super cool to look at. Or darker. That would be so cool. We might so we might get a little bit of darkness as we roll into our final stop. Not 100% sure that we will, but we might. We definitely might. All right. We're kind of on this like convoy here. Nothing wrong with that. We can just, we can sit behind the convoy. Definitely don't mind the convoy. Got a picture with these mountains here though. All right, that was good. Something I noticed while taking the picture, I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. Oh, uh, oh yeah, you can see it. the sides even have those lights moving around. It's so cool. I, said, I didn't notice that before. But yeah. So that's a that's a thing. There's the rumble strips. Boy. Kind of awesome, awesome speed here now. I'm trying to get up this hill. Go around. Go around. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and the right lane ends on top of it, so. Is this guy gonna let us over? I don't know. I think so. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, it was either he lets us over or bad things were gonna happen anyhow. I need to get the truck to shift. Come on. You know you want to shift. No. I think she's good now. Gain in speed. There we go. There we go. We're not doing too good for the uh, fuel consumption, though. For supposedly being streamlined better. For more fuel efficiency. Definitely doesn't seem that way. Whatever. What do I know? Alright, we're going to get over. Even though that truck's probably right, though. and We probably do need to be in that lane. Cause this lane will probably end up merging over anyhow. Beautiful. Look what sound this is or area there. Look at those lights. Look at this guy. Getting all up in there. He's like... Let me see. Let me see the lights. He's distracted by them. Yeah, see the that way ends. Always happens. You gonna let me over? That car will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oops. Give him to do that and ended up shifting ended up shifting on accident there all right here we go just taking in like just the sights the trees with all the snow I mean the mountains it would just look so good just so awesome because you imagine if you saw like a deer going through too oh that would definitely be so cool but yeah so this is kind of like the the last video for, to round up the year for us. Um, it's been quite quite a year, obviously, for all the stuff going on in the world. But then we were still able to get new content. Um, for this game, we were able to get new games on top of it, which is impressive with so many people working remotely. Um, but for SES to kind of keep up the quality of work is still really good um maybe a little bit slower of a year in terms of dlc and maps and whatnot than people would like but at the same time i think uh they came out with some really nice updates for gameplay um which was really nice to see so not all was lost in the year 
which is super exciting. And then, yeah, we got this truck. Uh, we got one other truck, too. What truck did we get? There's another truck that we got throughout the year, too. I forget which one that was. So, some new stuff to, to drive into the new year with, obviously. Um, and then the new, next year probably brings a, a lot. I think we're going to get Montana for sure. And then I could see Texas coming next year, too. Uh, which has been obviously in development for a while now, but so it's a massive state. I'll be curious what they price that one at. That'll be interesting. Okay, I'm not getting over like those nope. staying right here. But yeah, that'll be the interesting one. Do they go a little bit more price wise just due to the size of Texas or or what? Come on, man. See, that's why I didn't get over because I knew it was going to come back. I just knew. All right, we're turning left. What about you, man? You're turning left too, I see, okay. Oh man, we got, we got hit on some ice. Back off that guy a bit, there we go. I like how them hazards show up. Whoa, that guy. What are you doing, bro? Jesus. He ran a red. Oh, well. Well, Santa had an accident. That's okay. That's okay. That'd be so cool if we could have gotten, like, a Santa to to ride with us. That would be... That would have been awesome. I could have. That would have been really cool. That would have been really, really cool. So I think this is all road that we've seen now. That, that past, past stretch there, 285, was kind of like the new... I don't think this is part of... This might be 285 yet. I don't recall. The amount of times I've hit that map button. You know, I should know by now. I should know, that's for sure. That's all right. I wish we could change. I wonder if there's a way. Does anybody know the way to change the map size within the, uh, on the dash, on the dash GPS? That would be, that would be something. Okay, yeah, we're still on part of the 285 yet. Can tell because of the road that we have not covered. Jesus. Ooh are braking. We're like full on it. Full on the brakes. Our air pressure might get low. Cause I've been, been hitting them hard. Been hitting them hard. Oh well. Actually for the first time when I first started up this truck I had it beeping at me. No idea what it was. I was like what is going on here? Never heard it before. And it was due to low, t uh, low air pressure. So, hey. At least I know it works. It just... Never heard it before. I've never had an issue with the air pressure. And all of a sudden, this truck's just beeping away, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Alright, we're going to go around all these people, because I'd like to make this light. I'd like to make this light, if possible. That's a lot of trucks there. Lots of trucks. Some campers there. If you guys are interested. Some old ones too. Some classics over there. That's for sure. Oh well. Alright. Good, good, good. Alright. So this is stretch of road that we've seen before. We definitely have seen those campers. Alright. Are we getting over? I don't recall. This might be a two lane here. Yeah, it looks like it is, so. We'll hop on over so that way uh, faster vehicles can go around us. Well, I'm not sure this guy. What are you doing, man? Jesus. Uh, cause an accident with your driving. 
He was on them brakes for that curve. I mean, we probably should have slowed down a little bit too for these conditions. Because I felt that, that trailer sway back there. But we'll get over now. We good. There we go. Some crazy hills and stuff here. I want to make sure we're staying underneath the speed so we don't lose our load here. Especially kind of coming into that final stretch. We definitely don't want to lose it. Oof. So yeah, so we're going to be taking be a couple weeks off here now uh, just due to the holidays um, and everybody's just kind of so busy with everything. But We'll kind of take a quick uh, little break for that. Um, there will still be other content coming on the channel. Just no trucking content um, for the next two weeks. So, and then as we go into the new year, we'll kind of reevaluate what we're going to do content wise uh, for next year while we wait for SES to release some new stuff. Um, we'll take a look, obviously. If you haven't checked out the Volvo DLC, um, kind of go. I've gone back and forth on it. I wanted to at one point, and then I've kind of decided I didn't want to. Um, but we might go back and check that out. And then we're probably going to be starting up Bustin' 22 as well. So that might um, take Sunday uh, night slot for a truck instead, just for a little bit here. I haven't decided if I want to do it that way, but I don't think I want to because I like keeping it what it is, but at the same time, I also like doing just driving stuff on Sundays, so I think that's kind of good. It stays with the same, the same theme on things as we're rolling into town here, but watch out for this turn. It's a doozy. I, I remember the one time I came on this... I wasn't paying attention, and I think I smacked that. <laughs> Pretty sure I did. Uh, it was a little, uh, a little crazy there. But, uh, yeah, let's see what, uh, how things go as we make our journey into Alamosa here, which is 45 miles out. So yeah, we'll do that. And then the other thing that we're gonna be, I'm gonna be finishing up, hopefully finishing up, uh, two point uh, hospital DLC for off the grid. Um, and then I'll finally go to the first DLC that they ever released, which was the Bigfoot DLC. I have not gone and done that DLC. And it just kind of like works out timing wise here that we would do it during the winter time. So definitely gonna be doing that as well uh, as we roll into the new year. But I'm really looking forward to some new new content stuff. I really wanted to do flight sim stuff this last year. That didn't happen. Um, possibility that could roll into this year. Um, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it all plays out. It might be something where like, cause flight sim is so intensive and with all the other stuff that I wanna do, and all the stuff I still need to learn for flight sim, it might just be best like down the road future, kind of do that. Um, but we'll see. Plus, I kind of enjoy just doing flight sim by myself, which is kind of weird because it's like once you're in the air, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, but and I'd really like to do flight sim with VR, but I don't know if I can do long haul flights in VR. As cool as they are. Just not sure that uh, that's a good thing to do because that's definitely some strain on the eyes. That's for sure. Uh, looks like we're turning again here, coming in. So we're in Alamosa. Pretty sure this is all part of Alamosa here. Amazon Fresh. I didn't even know they had those trucks. Oh, never seen one like that. That's super cool. That is super cool. This our truck is from Arizona. We're in Denver. There's a Wendy's. There's a police car. Did they run into the? Oh man, they smashed that that window. 
Oh man, icy conditions, you know, that stuff happens. That stuff happens in icy conditions. It's a nice little town though. This is definitely not Alamosa though. It's too, too small. Too small to be Alamosa. Oh, we're getting close. I can, I can sense it. I can sense it. We got to be like 20 miles out, if that. Got to be close. We'll find out here on our sign. I'm thinking like 20 miles. And it is 15 miles. 15 miles out. So that's... That is right around the bend. There's a train. There's a nice big train there. That's... BNSF. I've also... Um, you know, Christmas time for me brings out the, uh, you know, bring the tree out, and then I always put the train around the tree. So every time around the holidays here, I get back into, oh, you know, I want to do like some model railroading. And it kind of gets me into that mood, so. Been looking at trains and stuff again. Just every year, just around this time, and then give it like a month or two and it'll fade and won't, won't care about it again for a little while, but. What I'd like is a basement where I could do all that. I don't have a basement currently, so I have to do it in like one of the spare rooms, and that's just that's not not what I want to do. But I think uh, future for the future for sure, something really neat. All right, here we are. Beautiful. Here's our delivery stop here. Coming in, so we've already been to this Tesla. It looks like there's a Ford dealership you can deliver to. That's super cool. I got Humvees back there. Jesus. Oh yeah, there's a Western Star dealership. So this is where our delivery is going, apparently. Um, let's see. Is it being backed in? Oh, that's definitely a back end. Ain't it? I think so. Oh yeah, it's got to be. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it's a back end for sure. That is a back end for sure. Let's see if we can do this. Mm -hmm. I gotta go the other way. Might have to take this a couple times though. Oh yeah, because we're gonna have to get this kind of straightened out a little bit. Well. Actually we might be okay here. We can get this truck to swing. Man, look at this. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's not too shabby. That is not too shabby for being in the cab. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There we go. Uh, we gotta go this way. Nope, this one. There we go. <laughs> Holy cow. Man, that was probably one of my better backing up jobs without uh, being outside the cab. I have, wow, that's impressive. I'm impressed with myself. That's the way to end a year, right? End the year strong on a really good backup and delivering those gifts. But man, this was our holiday themed episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's our trailer all decked out, delivering gifts to everybody. Uh, I just wish there was a Santa with us, but hopefully next year. But thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great holidays, and I hope to catch you all next time with some more trucking with iVision. Vision.